Import Bank, the government agency with authority to lend to U.S. exporters, has effectively been shut down since June 30th when a gridlock Congress let the charter expire. And this week, the only way to revive it is stalled as well. Leaders in the House of Representatives say they will not vote on a Senate highway bill that includes an extension of the XM Bank's role. But does the business community really need it? Where's the outcry from the businesses that rely on export import bank funds? Democratic Congresswoman Joyce Beatty of Ohio is urging her colleagues to rescue it as she joins us now from Capitol Hill. Congresswoman, thank you so much for your time today. Is it your contention that companies like Boeing, like Caterpillar, and GE cannot support themselves and they need taxpayer funds to do it. Let me just say, we've been hearing this from many of my Republican colleagues, calling it corporate welfare, talking about those big companies, but that's far from the truth. When you look at the number of small businesses who benefit from this, that's what this is about. Just think about this. If you had a federal agency and that agency said that they wanted to help small businesses create jobs and expand our exports, wouldn't you be in favor of that? And just think if they added that it wouldn't cost you anything and it would bring dollars back into our budget. Wouldn't you support this? I think that that is an excuse and it's far from the truth. It's not about yeah. those companies who are the larger companies. It's about the small businesses that we are shedding out and we are hurting. Congresswoman, you speak of small businesses. According to officials at the Export Import Bank, the the financing insurance authorized for the bank this year was $20.5 billion. Five billion of that was for small business exporters. So we're only talking about 25%. So how, in fact, does it help? Well, it, it helps those businesses. If you look at the great state of Ohio, right here in the heartland of it all, every day I'm hearing my constituents who are small businesses creating jobs, small businesses who do electrical work, painting manufacturing companies, female-owned and minority businesses who are asking us to do what we've done for the past 80 years. Why are we now holding this bill hostage? We have reauthorized the export-import over the last 80 years, since 1934, right. 16 times, but, but, just but, here. But, but Congresswoman, uh, you know, just to add on to what Mark was saying, though, um, you know, these are, these are figures that are well known. I mean, the biggest recipient of Export-Import Bank taxpayer money is Boeing. Boeing in 2013 got 30% of that money. That is not a small business at all. And, and you're right, it's not a small business, but why are we going to punish those small businesses because of a few of the larger business? And they're not new to this game. So it has to be more to this than that, because in 2012, we had many of those same businesses there. But if you look at how we've grown those small businesses, if you look at the number of jobs that we take away from those other businesses, it's not only about the dollars that they will receive. It's about the jobs that we will create for those small okay. companies and those individuals who count on it. Well, you know, I think it, it's an excuse that we're using the corporate welfare well, and that we're using these. And it's only a few of my Republican colleagues. If we bring this to the floor, I am comfortable we will vote it out. If there are some issues with the larger companies, let's fix that. But let's not hold everybody hostage well, Congresswoman, for a few Republicans. Okay, so, uh, so here Here's one Republican voice, the Freedom Partners Chamber of Commerce. They wrote a, an op-ed in the L.A. Times. Uh, they, call, they, call, they say exactly that. They say the Export-Import Bank is corporate welfare. Its beneficiaries have no interest in seeing the taxpayer money dry up. What they want is for the American public to bear the risk for private companies' profit. Look, Congresswoman, you know, we seem to be doing a pretty good job uh, as a free market economy of creating jobs on our own. Why do we need to have taxpayer money uh, uh, help? businesses, including uh, many large companies, create jobs. Let the markets dictate that.
I think there's two sides to this. I think if you look at it's not costing our government anything and we're bringing dollars back in, I think I would ask the question, what happens to those small companies? Although it's a smaller percentage, but just think about it. If you take away all of those small companies who can't go without the export imports and continue to grow, tell me where those jobs are going to go. Tell me how we're going to help those individuals who are here working hard without these opportunity tools to right. succeed. And I think that's the real question that we have to also answer. Congresswoman, Tell me why we have Democrats and Republicans who right. are asking it to come to the floor so we can vote it out. Tell me why we can't put amendments and fix it if that's such a big concern. But all I'm hearing is a few companies that they're upset with and they want to throw out the baby with the bathwater. Right. And I say we should stand up for the small people, we should stand up for jobs, and we should stand up for expanding small businesses, female-owned and minority businesses. Congresswoman, we have a little less than a minute left. I, I must ask, because you brought it up, the bank was created by President Roosevelt in 1934. That was during the Great Depression. And his aim was to help the U.S., and I quote President Roosevelt, re-engage economically with the rest of the world. Is that still the mandate of the bank? Bank, is the United States not engaged economically with the rest of the world? Well, certainly we're engaged with the rest of the world, but I think one of the things you want to make sure is that we use the Export-Import Bank to help us keep our businesses there because the more business we can do uh, abroad, the more jobs we can create. And so I think being engaged is about job creation. I think it's about creating opportunity of wealth for everyone and just not a few large companies. Okay. All right, Congresswoman, thank you so much for joining us. Congresswoman Joyce thank Beatty you. of Ohio, member of the House Financial Services Committee on the Export-Import Bank Charter. All right, coming up in the next half hour of the Bloomberg Market Day.